As you may have noticed, most of our favorite football leagues have ended their seasons and it will be a few months until we have them back. I recently did a video documenting every UEFA League winner from the 2023-24 season. And thanks to a viewer suggestion from Lord Irving, we're back again with a similar video. This time we're looking at every top flight Asian Football Confederation League winner from the 2023-24 season. If you're enjoying the series, make sure to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and leave us a comment. On a side note, we recently hit 1,000 subscribers, a feat that I genuinely thought was an impossibility for this channel. This is really just a fun side project for me, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much for the support. One quick note, many of Asia's top countries and competitions play a summer league schedule, so if you're wondering why the likes of China, Japan, and South Korea aren't mentioned here, that's why. There are also a lot of leagues in the AFC that have been halted or have such little information about them online, I can't determine who their 2024 league winner is. So countries like Brunei, East Timor, and others have not been included in this video. With that out of the way, sit back, relax, and help me recap the AFC's top flight league winners from the 2023-24 season. After the 2023 season wasn't held, the Afghanistan Champions League returned in a major way with Attack Energy FC going undefeated, winning every one of their 11 matches and scoring 41 goals. What's even more impressive is the fact that during these 11 games, Attack Energy FC also didn't concede a single goal. This is technically their second title in a row, having previously won the league in 2022. For the second season in a row, the Central Coast Mariners lifted Australia's A-League Grand Final Trophy, beating the Melbourne Victory 3-1. The championship was the team's third Grand Final win of all time. The winner of this year's Bahraini Premier League is also the country's newest team and its richest, Al Khalidia. Formed in 2020, the club has already won two titles in a row and could be on their way to many more. For the fifth time in a row, the Bangladesh Premier League was won by the Bashundara Kings. They ended their 18-game season with 14 wins, only one loss, and 10 points ahead of second place, Mohamedan SC. Cambodia's most successful football club, Phnom Penh Crown, fell in this year's Cambodian Premier League by 8 points to Preo Khan Reach Sve Ring. Sve Ring's 76-point season was helped by 24 wins, 2 losses, and a 50-goal differential. This is the club's third title and their first since 2019. Like Afghanistan, the Hong Kong Premier League also had an undefeated team in Lee Man FC. Over the 20 games they played, the team won 17 games and secured 54 points on their way to their first league title. Mumbai City's 3-1 victory over Mohan Bagan SG in the Indian Super League Finals gave the team from India's most populated city its second league title in history, elevating the team as India's most successful club in the Super League era. Mumbai City is mostly owned by City Football Group, a holding company which also owns Premier League winners Manchester City. Despite finishing the Liga 1 regular season 8 points behind Borneo Semarinda, Persib Bangdung beat Bali United 4-1 on aggregate and beat Madura United 6-1 on aggregate to capture its second ever league title and its first since 2014. The team's success this year can be partially credited to the league top scorer, David De Silva, who scored 30 goals. In the Persian Gulf Pro League, it was a tight race all year between Tehran Derby rivals Persepolis and Esteglal, and when the season ended, Persepolis had beat out its rival by a single point, capturing the club's second title in a row and its ninth all-time. Persepolis remains Iran's most successful football club. At the end of this year's Iraqi Stars League season, Al Shorta became only the fourth club in Iraqi football history to win three consecutive league titles. 
The club from Baghdad ended the year with 87 points thanks to 26 wins and only 3 losses. There was also a tight title race in the Jordanian Pro League. After the 22 game season had concluded, two teams had lost just a single game, but it was Al Hussein Irbid who had captured the title, beating out the country's most decorated club, Al Faisali, by two points. This is Al Hussein's first league title in club history. For the third year in a row, Kuwait SC, also known as Al Kuwait, clinched the Kuwaiti Premier League title, bringing the club's total count to 19 titles all-time, the most in Kuwait football history. To win its 19th title, the team beat out Al Arabi, Kuwait's second most storied football club, by a single point. Another league title that was clinched by just a single point happened in the Lebanese Premier League. The country's most decorated club, Ansar, was up against Neyma on the last match day of the season. A win or a draw would have won them the championship. Instead, Neyma scored in the 96th minute to clinch this year's title, the club's ninth all-time. For the first time since 2018, Benfica de Macau won the Liga de Elite, Macau's top football competition. As the name suggests, the club is apparently related to Portugal's famous Benfica, at least it was when it was founded in 1951. If it still is today, I'm not so sure. Anyway, the team ended this season with 46 points thanks to 15 wins, one draw, and one loss. This is the club's sixth title, good enough for second all-time. For the first time in its history, SP Falcons won the Mongolian Premier League. A team from Mongolia's capital city, Ulaanbaatar, finished the season with 65 points thanks to 21 wins and 4 losses over 27 games. Shockingly, I know who won the most recent iteration of the Marianas Soccer League. It was a team called Kanoa FC according to Instagram. This was the team's second tournament win in a row, having also won the 2023 Fall Iteration. One of the AFC's most decisive league titles was won by Al Sieb, who captured its third Oman Professional League title by 14 points. In 22 games, the team won 18 and lost just one. While the Pakistan Premier League hasn't played a full season since 2018-19, the country's PFF National Challenge Cup did resume this year after about a three and a half year hiatus. For the second time in a row, it was won by WAPDA FC, also known as Water and Power Development Authority Football Club. Qatar's most successful club, Al Saad, added another title to its trophy case this year. They won the Qatar Stars League by two points over Qatari El Clasico rivals Al Rayyan to clinch their 17th title of all time. Despite Cristiano Ronaldo scoring 35 goals in 31 games for Al Nazar, the highest goal total in the Saudi Pro League this season, it was not enough for his club to catch Al Halal. The country's all-time most decorated club tallied 96 points and 31 wins on their way to an undefeated season. Neymar, who plays for Al-Halal, was actually injured for a majority of the season, so the club relied on former Fulham legend Alexander Mitrovic to pick up the goal-scoring slack. He ended the season with 28 goals in 28 games. One of the first AFC leagues to conclude this season did so on March 31st. The Syrian Premier League was won for a second consecutive year by al Futawa who gained 49 points thanks to 15 wins and only 3 losses during their 22-game season. The title is the team's fourth all-time. So far we haven't mentioned any clubs in AFC countries that are total dynasties like you may find in Europe, but you could easily identify Thailand's Buriam United as one of them. For the third time in a row and the tenth time all-time, Buriam won the Thai League One thanks to a 69-point campaign with 20 wins and just a single loss. 
There are undefeated seasons, and then there are perfect seasons, like the one Turkmen side Arkadag just had. Across its 24-game Yokuri Liga campaign, Arkadag won all 24 games it played in and achieved a 66 goal differential thanks to 83 goals scored and only 17 conceded. What's even more incredible is the fact that this was Arkadag's first season in existence. Wow. For the first time since 2015-16, Al Wazel won the UAE Pro League. The team managed to lose just one game on their way to a 67-point campaign. The club now has eight titles all-time. Another team that clinched a championship after a long absence was Nam Din in Vietnam's V League One. The team went 16-5-5 on their way to 53 points to win their first league title since 1985. The last country on our list was also the first to finish its 2023-24 season, which it did back in January. By a score of 2-0, Al-Ali Sana won its 10th Yemeni League title, the most all-time in the country. Well, that's it for the AFC Leagues, and what a 2023-24 season it has been across the Middle East and Asia. To recap, the AFC saw one team have a perfect season in Turkmenistan, Four teams go undefeated in Afghanistan, Hong Kong, Saudi Arabia, and Turkmenistan. There were four first-time winners in Hong Kong, Jordan, Mongolia, and Turkmenistan. And there were 10 back-to-back -back winners in Afghanistan, Australia, Bangladesh, Bahrain, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Pakistan, Syria, and Thailand. How did your favorite team do this season? Let me know in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if you're enjoying the content, and we will see you next season.